A panel of experts has discussed Tokyo Electric Power Company's failure to follow an in-house manual on quickly determining core meltdowns at its, at its nuclear power plants. The utility did not admit to the situation until two months after the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Some people have pointed out that TEPCO did not provide enough information on the matter. So we have to consider proper ways of sharing information. We need to determine who should receive such information and how it should be communicated to municipalities. We will fully cooperate with the investigation. We will make the best of its findings to make sure this does not happen again. TEPCO set up the panel to investigate the case. The panel met for the first time in Tokyo on Thursday. Panel members plan to interview the parties concerned and analyze internal documents in an effort to confirm what happened. TEPCO admitted that meltdowns had occurred at three of its reactors at the plant, but did not until two months after the March 2011 accident. But last month, it was revealed that the meltdowns could have been determined three days after the accident if the utility had followed its in-house manual. TEPCO says no date has been set for making the panel's findings public. The panel inquiry will be held behind closed doors. TEPCO says no date has been set for making the panel's findings public. The panel inquiry will be held behind closed doors. This is absolutely unheard of. It's, it's, it's actually weird. Now, here's the finance minister, Taro Aso. Remember, everybody's an Aso. Who can forget Taro Aso? <laughs> the biggest Aso in Japan. Who can forget him? He's the finance minister, right? Yes. What an Aso that Aso is. <laughs> well, he's in this headline. Let elderly people, quote, hurry up and die, says Japanese minister. Taro Aso says he would refuse end-of-life care and would feel bad knowing treatment was paid for the, by the government. This is absolutely unheard of. It's, it's, it's actually weird. Nobel laureate Joseph Stiglitz said Japan should refrain from hiking its consumption tax, but the country's finance minister has indicated he has no intention of following that advice. Taro Aso says he will stick with the plan, raising the levy from 8% to 10% after April 2017. The tax hike is needed to take responsibility for the next generation and to work toward achieving a primary balance surplus by 2020. The move is needed to establish Japan's credibility in the international community. Also told an upper house panel he and Stiglitz hold different opinions on the issue. Stiglitz made the comment at a panel hosted by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. It was one of a series of meetings the government is organizing with prominent economic experts ahead of a group of seven summit in May. The Columbia University professor cited uncertainties in the global economy. So he was doing the rounds selling people on this new budget they have you know, for the new government. Heaven forbid, he said, if you were forced to live on when you want to die, I would wake up feeling increasingly bad knowing the treatment was all being paid for by the government. The problem won't be solved unless you let them hurry up and die. <laughs> That's right, Mrs. Watanabe. This, some fellow finance minister in Japan named Aso wants you to kill yourself for the benefit of his paper-pushing bankster buddies down there at the Bank of Japan. That's not right, is it? What are you going to do about it? How about some... Uh, some you know what? They got that special sushi in Japan made out of the blowfish. <laughs> yeah. If you eat too much of it, it kills you. How about Mrs. Watanami goes down to this asshole's office and serves him a nice luncheon of deadly sushi? How'd you like that, asshole? Hey, guys. I just want to come in and uh, add a couple more screenshots I, I didn't get to put in my other video. Uh, if you come to over by Fatuba, which is here, and you come straight out to the coastline and you zero in, I'm going to show a few things to this operation here. Okay. This is a whole operation right here. And I'll show you. They even have names for the certain little squares. And the certain little areas. I get somebody to tell me what those mean. That'd be awesome. But if you really get down here, here's some more bags. More bags. But I wanted to show you more of just bags. Now this here they're burying stuff, they're bringing loads of stuff here and burying it. Okay, 
we zero in on this is all just like organized there are certain piles for certain things the wood here and you got this section here these are all cars metal cars I'll show you so you can kind of see the cars there more cars more metal you can really see the cars on that one just just destructed cars There's more organization here more stuff put in certain areas it's everywhere this is overview see the blue in it more blue bags here blue must be not as contaminated maybe so now it goes all the way up I'm telling you all the way up to Metsua Ura Bay you can find where they scrape the ground I wanted to show you how you know they scrape the ground so yeah you can see this this is not normal farmer stuff how these designs are in here they're scraped a certain way okay see how you can see them now I'll show you these are what normal farmer fields look like over there you see you have a couple little tracks here but otherwise they may they mainly go this way you know there's a certain design you can tell where they scrape so just look into it more uh, thanks for watching more nuclear power out. A nuclear power plant in Florida is leaking radiation into a bay along the Atlantic coast. That's according to a study conducted by the University of Miami. Critics say the findings confirm long-held suspicions. The state regulators are failing to protect the public. Marina Portanaya has the story tonight from Florida. The Turkey Point power plant right behind me has been around for four decades. It reportedly supplies power to more than one million homes, but critics say it is a public health threat and an environmental danger. According to a study commissioned by Miami-Dade County, a system of cooling canals surrounding the nuclear facility is running too hot and too salty, causing radiation to spill into the water. Sampling conducted by the University of Miami found levels of tritium, a radioactive isotope, 215 times above normal. Turkey Point is located next to Biscayne Bay, which stretches 35 miles long. The facility stands between two national parks and along a coast subject to hurricanes and storm surges. Florida Power and Lighting, the utility company operating the facility, expanded the plant's reactors in 2013 to increase power production, a move critics warned would pose a serious threat to the ecosystem. Just last month, a judge ruled that FPL had failed to prevent hundreds of thousands of gallons of wastewater from seeping into the bay, threatening a well field that supplies drinking water to the Florida Keys. The University of Miami study doesn't indicate if new radiation levels detected in the water pose a danger to people or wildlife. FPL says it needs more time to review the study data, but insists there's no threat to the health and safety of the public. Elected officials say the study may point to violations of the Federal Clean Water Act, and many experts believe only two solutions are viable, building new cooling towers or shutting down the plant altogether. Reporting from Miami-Dade, Marina Portnaya, RT. Japanese officials are preparing for the possibility that the next U.S. president could be Donald Trump. They're concerned about the potential impact on issues ranging from U.S.-Japan relations to the global economy. Trump extended his lead over his Republican rivals in primaries on Tuesday. The victories added to his tally in the delegate count. Trump has a track record of making controversial remarks. Some have been directed at Japan. He's described the security treaty between the allies as unfair. If Japan gets attacked, we have to immediately go to the red. Okay? If we get attacked, Japan doesn't have to help us. 
Japanese foreign ministry officials are working to build their knowledge in the months before the November election. They're trying to determine what kinds of policies Trump might pursue and who he'd tap for top positions such as Secretary of State. Japan's imperial couple has paid tribute to the victims of the massive tsunami that hit coastal areas of northeastern Japan in 2011. Emperor Akihito and Empress Michiko visited a monument in Ishinomaki, Miyagi Prefecture. The memorial was erected a year after the tsunami to comfort the souls of the 392 people who died there. Many of them had worked in the local fishing industry. The visit is part of the imperial couple's tour of areas devastated by the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami, as well as the ensuing nuclear accident. The emperor and empress walked over to a group of elderly people. They asked the well-wishers to take care of themselves and thanked them for waiting in the cold. We have wonderful news to report from Japan. Citizens were able, through the courts, to stop an operating nuclear power plant. These are citizens uh, living between 30 and 70 kilometers away from the Takahama nuclear power plant. It was operating, and the injunction lawsuit says you have to shut it down, and the next day the utility had to shut it down. So this is fantastic news. It's, I think, an inspiration for everybody else in Japan and around the world, because people you know, 70 kilometers away, you know, 40, 50 miles away from a nuclear power plant will be affected if there's a disaster. And it just shows that people can sue and actually win in the courts and shut down operating nuclear power plants that are dangerous. The court ruled that the Japanese government standards, um, the Nuclear Regulation Authority standards are insufficient for protecting the public. So we're now going to try to keep these plants shut shut more of them down and especially the aging reactors they're trying to operate those in japan and try to never have them operated it'll be a bumpy road maybe but we keep trying we keep fighting um, in the movement around and in lawsuits and we'll keep at it in japan this really earthquake prone country we don't want another fukushima disaster so that's our, our that's what we're doing today celebrating and say we're going to keep fighting thank you Here in my garden, where I seek my peace, when darkness creeps upon me, given the solace I see, I will be waiting, I will be waiting, I will be waiting. Don't love us, each get there 